in this era of eco emulsification the importance of sics cannot be underestimated it is one of the safest techniques for complicated cases and for hard cataracts i think surgeon should decide which technique will work best in his hand for the best of patient whenever you are entering your or leave your ego behind forget that somebody is watching you i am saying so because i have seen people changing their decision on time to do feco instead of sics just because someone is there in the or never do that do whatever best you can for your patient the technique doesn't matter kenning table peritomy is done and a gentle cautery is performed followed by a curvilinear partial thickness groove made with 15 degree blade scleral tunnel should be partial thickness and uniplanar so if you have entered on one side just try to continue the same plane throughout the tunnel and make a good scleral pocket so that while removing the nucleus you have enough space for nucleus to come out this is followed by a side port entry here i am using my keratome to enter through side port this is followed by viscoelastic injection in the anterior chamber and ccc followed a slightly larger size rexis is preferred in these type of flesh cases with black cataract in few scenarios where you cannot perform rexis you can use a can opener technique and finish off your rexis notice i am filling up anterior chamber with viscoelastic again so that i should have a firm eyeball before entering with my keratome always take into consideration the size of nucleus you are dealing with so that you can have enough length of scleral tunnel to express this nucleus out without any hassle a hydro is done with the help of 27 gauge cannula and the nucleus is rotated in the bag with the help of dialer once the nucleus is freely mobile in the bag it is time to take this out now here i use my bimanual technique in my left hand i have a dialer and right hand i am using a cystitome needle with this bimanual technique without any stress on zonules i can take the nucleus out as you can see in the video i have pushed the nucleus slightly down and supported the nucleus equator with my left hand and rotated it with the right hand so that in a step wise manner it come out of the bag once that is done i have injected the viscoelastic below the endothelium and the nucleus is visco expressed out this way you can prevent a pressure on zonules and you can take your nucleus out quite easily protecting endothelium with viscoelastic is equally important this is followed by irrigation aspiration here i am using my coaxial ia to remove the cortex you can use coaxial bimanual or a simco cannula depending on your comfort entire chamber is optimally filled up with viscoelastic material and this is followed by implantation of a rigid three piece iol in the bag the first haptic goes directly in the bag and the trailing haptic is dialed with the help of dialer iol is rotated in the capsular bag to confirm the position of both haptics it is followed by a thorough visco wash
clear corneal wounds are hydrated and closed formation of anterior chamber is checked and if needed air into the anterior chamber can be injected i usually push my subconjunctival injection into the superior conjunctiva so that it covers superior scleral tunnel do subscribe to youtube channel dr pankaj lande shri netralaya for more such videos thank you and good day